let's discuss what the risk is to the average person watching us today. You have about the same chance of winning the lottery, getting hit and killed by lightning, or maybe seeing an alien spacecraft fly by as you do from dying from COVID-19. Remember, we talked about this before. The infection rate was supposed to be 2 million Americans dead. And that's why the economy was shut down. And that's why everybody's broke. And that's why everybody's locked up at home. And that 2 million turned into a million and then was lowered to 500,000 and then 100,000. Now the prediction is 60,000. We're not even halfway there. And yet everybody's out of work. Everybody's out of money. Everybody has to beg for food in some cases. And we've peaked. Is it time to let everybody out to go back to some kind of normal, even if it's an adjusted normal with masks on and social distancing? I think so. What do you think? You know, absolutely. And I'm going to give you a number that just came in just since we've been on this uh, on this interview. Um, it's the numbers are showing that over 85 times more people in California have likely had COVID-19 already than reported. That's going to take that death rate down so low. I mean, it's going to take it way down below the normal flu. So uh, there's that and also the fact that the, most of the people who have died, over 80 percent of those folks, actually had existing conditions before that would have made it hard for them to survive the regular flu, like asthma, bronchitis, that type of thing. Pneumonia. Yeah, you're 100 percent right. You know, we can go to the one example in the world that's the opposite of the United States, which is Sweden. You know, they don't have a lockdown in Sweden. Everybody's working if they want to work. They recommend if you're old, if you have a pre-existing condition, you be a grown-up and you decide to shelter in place at home. Their infection and death rate is a little bit higher, but their economy is not destroyed. I'm really worried, Kent. I'm really worried that when the world returns to some kind of new normal, will it really come back to normal? How many people watching today have no money left? are wondering where their next week's food is coming from because it's not an economic slowdown. It's an economic turn off. Everything has stopped over a virus. As you said, the infection rate will be much, much lower. Look, I think I had it in February when I had a really bad flu. There's no way to know because they don't have the antibody test out yet. I'll take it when it comes out. I'll bet you I'm one of them.